Welcome in everyone, you're on Corn This Way. Wednesday in Nebraska, I am freaking jazzed today, which is bad news for everyone around me. Way too much energy. Why is that? Because tonight, my friends, you have a chance to do something special. Be part of history. Not being dramatic, I'm hopefully telling the freaking truth for once, okay? The NCAA regular season attendance record for a single volleyball match, 14,022. Set by, of course, Nebraska versus Creighton in 2018. That record will fall tonight, okay? There are over 14,000 tickets already sold at the CHI Center in Omaha for the Huskers and the Jays tonight. Pretty damn cool. Get out there and see one of the most amazing moments during the entire sports calendar this year, I promise you. You do not want to miss this. It's special. This is elite atmosphere, okay? John Cook, Husker coach, summed it up best. Uh, well, for the state, I mean, this is a celebration of, you know, two, two nationally ranked volleyball programs, and it's going to be, could break an attendance record. Uh, so it's just a reflection of, you know, volleyball is a state treasure here. And, uh, you know, it's a great, great example for all the young kids playing, all the high school teams that are playing, you know, just to see how important volleyball is here. You've heard that quote a lot this week, but it's true. Volleyball is a treasure here. I am never cease to be amazed by how Nebraska people support that sport. And tonight's going to be a pinnacle moment in that, I think. Get out there, okay? Even for Nebraska's players, right, who play in one of the best atmospheres in college volleyball over there at the Devaney Center, for them, this is special. Here's Nicklin Hames. It's kind of crazy to look out and see the fans all the way at the top, um, and it's just packed. It kind of reminds me of when we play in the Final Four and for the National Championship. So getting to play with that many fans on that big of a stage, I think is good preparation for um, later on in the season. Pretty cool. You getting excited yet? I hope you are. Get a ticket. Have I mentioned that already? All right, who wins this game? Match, sorry. Got to get my damn vernacular down. I'm losing my street cred. Creighton is damn good, okay? I've watched them quite a bit this year. In fact, I have no problem saying this, they're more battle-tested right now than Nebraska. Tonight will mark three out of their last four matches against an AP Top 25 opponent. They've only suffered one loss to Kentucky, who's damn good as well, okay? They've been on the road as well, so I just think a little bit more battle-tested. Will that give them an edge? I don't know. Because speaking of history, we would be remiss not to mention this. Nebraska's record versus Creighton in volleyball. Yeah, you know this. 20 goose, right? Creighton has never beaten them. And that weighs heavily, okay? I don't care, you know, what last year was or the last 20 years. It weighs heavily when you know you have not beaten an opponent who you damn well want to beat. So for me, what I'm watching for is this. Can Creighton win a set or two? If that happens, game on, my friends. Other than that, we're going to see how big a gap, if any, exists between number 17 in the country and number two in the country, the defending national runner-up, right? So... How's it going to be tonight? I don't know. Maybe Creighton can pull off an upset, or is Big Sister going to come back? Show who's boss, right? That's Husker Volleyball. Get there tonight. It's going to be amazing. Tell your boss you got to leave work early, right? Five o'clock, first serve. They say no. Tell them they don't support women's sports. Hell, call them a misogynist. I'm fine with that. Okay, deep breath. Calm down here. Maybe don't pull that one out immediately. Maybe say something polite first, but don't be afraid to pull out the big guns if you have to there, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get everyone in trouble on a Wednesday. That's what I'm here for. Anyway, full coverage from us. You can tell I'm already way too wired for our good. I guarantee our writers are as well. Tonight, 7, 8 o'clock, we'll have all the recap of that one. Stay with us for that. Okay. Woo! You guys feeling it on a Wednesday? Let's hope that momentum and energy builds up for the old foosball team here. Okay? Here's the segment we're going to do today. We're going to call it Know Your Enemy, right? Georgia Southern, the Eagles from Statesboro, Georgia, Sun Belt Conference. They're coming up in here Saturday as the Huskers are going to be looking for win number deuce on the year. What do we know about Georgia Southern? Well, the most obvious thing is their head coach, Clay Helton, right? Former USC coach, damn good coach, okay? Don't care what happened there. He's a good football mind. He's on his road back to wherever he wants to be. And at the moment, that's in Statesboro with Georgia Southern. Their roster, you take a look at it, a lot of transfers, okay? A lot of people who things maybe just didn't work out at a bigger Division I school and they've transferred down. That, that's common. You'll see that on some belt rosters, okay? So there's kids there that have experienced big-time college football. Got to remember that. Their offensive coordinator is Brian Ellis. Brian Ellis came from Western Kentucky. So you know what that means? Yeah, they use a modified version of the air raid offense. That's right, the old air raid. They beat Morgan State pretty handedly on Saturday, but it wasn't quite what it seemed, okay? It was only 17-7 at the half. Now, I know you might say, well, I'll tell you what, Z, it's a hell of a lot better than 7-7 at the half, you jackass. 
<laughs> All right, I'll take that. But you get my point. It took them a while to build up. A lot of that scoring happened in the third and fourth quarter. So today we ponder the question, how do you beat an air raid offense? Okay, I have a little bit of knowledge in this. I spent seven years covering Texas Tech. And despite my appearance in general jackassery, I do know a lot about the air raid offense. So here's how you beat them, all right? Simple concept, three and out. You get three and outs on defense. I know. Nice job, jackass. Way to state the obvious of college football logic. Okay, hang with me a second. Here's the deal. Air raid is about tempo, spacing, and quick strike. Okay, if Nebraska's defense can get three and outs, you put Georgia Southern's defense back on the field. You enact fatigue on their defense. And I think, knock on whatever the hell this desk is made out of, Nebraska's offense is evolving, okay? The signs are there, we'll get into more of that later. So, you get three and outs, or hell, six and outs, for all I care, you put that defense back on the field and you start outscoring them. That's how you defeat an air raid offense. Use that tempo against them, okay? This ain't Big 12 era Texas Tech Mike Leach, okay? This is a Sun Belt opponent, and I don't mean to talk crap on it because you know the teams in the upper half of that conference are good. But I don't think I'm taking a risk with what I'm about to say here. North Dakota is a better team than Georgia Southern, okay? Nebraska saw a better football team last week. It's not a shot on Georgia Southern. It's just evolution, right? Coaching staff, stability. North Dakota is a better team. So I think it's get right week for the Huskers. It has to be get right week, right? Because there's, no there's nothing left. You know what's coming next Saturday. We'll get into that later, okay? So here you go this week. Get three and outs. Let Nebraska's offense evolve further. Let Anthony Grant and everyone do what they do. And this should be a win for Nebraska, okay? That's how you take out an air raid offense. Use that tempo against them. Easier said than done, right? I know. But with Georgia Southern, Nebraska has to get that done. Okay. Here we go, right? Business is picking up. Picking the F up. Because you know we're a week away from, yeah. We'll just say the word Oklahoma, right? Are you getting jazzed about that yet? I sure as hell am. Don't care what the Huskers are. You're going to be excited about that game. Okay. Speaking of excited, I need you to read a couple things today to get yourself in the right mode, okay? We talked about the offense evolution. And guess what? Our good friend Sam McEwen today writes about that. Here's kind of what he's opinion on. Fast offensive starts in the first and second halves. Why the Whipple script is working at Nebraska. I know, and you might say, wait a damn minute there. It hasn't been too pretty. Okay, we accept that. But what Sam is talking about is the first drives of the halves. Nebraska's look pretty damn good. Matter of fact, they teased all of us because we are already after that Northwestern game start anointing Big Ten West Championship trophies, <laughs> right? So here's the deal. Regardless of who's calling play, I don't care if a raccoon with a freaking uh, pair of dice calling the place. If Nebraska wins, we don't give a crap. So look at Sam's article today. He really gets into the evidence of the fact that Whipple, Frost, whoever, they're starting to figure it out. Okay, maybe I'm selling too much into that. Read that article. Also, our notes from yesterday. Evan Bland wrote this one. O'Shawn Mathis talks his first sack at Nebraska and almost getting his second. Damn right. Okay. That was a good look. Do you see the look on O'Shawn's face after he got that sack on Saturday? A little relief there, right? He's an elite level athlete. Hopefully, this is just the old floodgate for O'Shawn. We hope he gets a lot more. Check out our Husker notes today. Okay, get the hell out of here because I've got way too much energy for at this point in the morning. Tomorrow, we'll hear from Scott Frost in the morning. We'll also be, of course, recapping all of Creighton and Nebraska volleyball from the CHI Center. Building you into the weekend, Georgia Southern Nebraska on the foosball field. We'll have lots of preview articles for you. You can check out, of course, at Omaha.com. Get yourself a freaking subscription. Still got that lovely deal going on for you right now. $1 six months. That's going to get you through all the volleyball and football. Be our friends. We want to be friends with you. Okay, go to volleyball tonight. Did I mention that? Buy a damn ticket. Until that time, you go be all the GBR you can be, and remember, we are all just going this way.